We ready? Uh, so, tonight we did, uh, we worked on some more rap and rolls last week. We did a rap and roll from a skater, and uh, we, we had a lot of fun with that. Made me realize that we need to do some more open breaks and get better at that. That's the reason why I decided to do it again this week, so that you leaders get the practice and you followers get the practice at doing these open breaks because they're just an intricate part of West Coast Swing, right? So the first thing we did was a right hand sugar push, and I'm constantly talking about how when you guys hold on with your right hand, um, that you need to turn your body to the diagonal a little bit to give the lady some extra rope on that side. So what we'll do is we'll short change her. If we try to stay in a normal anchor position, I'm not giving her enough rope to make her feel like she can even settle into her hip. So anytime that I'm holding on with my right hand, I will turn my body somewhat to the diagonal. Even though I'm in anchor position, it's like my slot is this way instead of this way, right? You ladies have to do what's right. You have to fight to be right because now we're holding this other hand and you desperately want Want that left side of your body to be forward even if your left foot is back so fight to be right and keep it that way and when you walk out on the one right here ladies don't let your torso turn right so turn your body you're giving up the connection so what you need to do is keep your angle the same when you walk out on the one so that we have a bite on you and we're moving you as a unit when we move you through space and so don't let your body twist when that happens from here, we're gonna give her, first we gave her a one, two free spin, three and four, five and six. Because we wanted to remind you that you already know how to give her this good inside spin or this left spin from this connection. Then we had you give her an open break where we go one, two, and you go three and four. She gets to the four, we catch her on the four, we pull the rib cord, her body is still moving through space, causes her to close her feet. She does an open ball change. Sorry, Liz, I'm kind of stopping. So she goes and six, and then from there, I don't need to pull her past me because her momentum is already going that direction. So I just give her a free spin off of that lead. So this goes one, two, three, and four, pull, five and six, spin, seven and eight, nine and 10. Beyond that, we then kept it and get went one, two, three, and four, five and six, keep it, we took her to a wrap. We could have just gone to a regular open break and given her a free spin out of that, which I encourage you to do from time to time when the music calls for it. But instead, we kept her here for seven and eight, and we pulled the rib cord, kept it short, but we went with her one and brought her back to the two, one and two. So if I don't stop, this goes, um, this would have been six, seven and eight, one and two. From here, we gave her a redirect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to toss her from this hand to this hand, and I want her sideways for three, send her out turning left and four, and out five and six. So if we go one, two, three, and four, five and six, seven and eight, one and two, three and four, five and six from the top. One, two, three and four, left side connected. One, two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, one and two, three and four, five and six. And from the other side, one, two, three and four, five and six, one, two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, one and two, three and four, out five and six. I do want to mention that when we had her here, when we had her here, we caught her and this was and two, one and two, and two, and two. So she's feeling that at her ribs. So I'm causing her to ball change using my footwork to do that. Ball change. So forward on your left. This was six, seven, and eight, one catcher, and two. From here, in order to get her to turn around, I have to take the heel of my hand through between the two of us and I catch her short. I'm gonna stand off to the side of her. Stop with this old school. Stop with the old school. Stop with this. It's old school stop. Stop doing that. You guys love to do that on an underarm turn. It's not making you cool. One, two, you think, oh, I'm gonna roll the back of my hand around the clothes. Please stop doing that. That's like 1970 model. Don't do that. So when you get her to here, have your hand waiting already. So when she, I tossed her, that's the side of her rib. Some of you guys are used to doing that to catch her to close. So you reach behind her and she's already gone. 
So she's not going to make this. There's supposed to be some FaceTime with the audience on that redirect. So I catch her short enough that she sees the audience there before she goes out. And that's really more the modern way to do that. Okay. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and share this with everybody. We hope to see you in class sometime soon. Thank you, Liz.